Hi, Wick again with another how to video for American Truck Simulator. I had a question this morning on my channel about how do you edit workshop mods? Um, basically, how do you get that workshop mod into your mod folder so you can edit it to your liking or needs and not have it update or disappear? when there's an update to the mod in the workshop. So basically, this is how do you move your workshop mod to your local mod folder? Well, first off, you wanna look at the mod in question. For example, in my previous video, I said that you can take a sound mod that's in the workshop and edit it to fit a truck that's not in its compatibility list, basically, to work with that mod. Um, so you can just name any mod truck that doesn't work with that specific mod. So let's look up a 3406E in the workshop. Um, so here we have one here for Serial Black. Now, you want to subscribe to that mod first so that you get it on your drive. So I subscribed to Serial Black. Then what you want to do is look at the link for that mod. Now, in my Steam settings i have it to show the full link to the mod in the uh up in the window there's a setting in steam to adjust that i don't remember where you can find it but basically you can also do this in a web browser you can look up this mod in a web browser and look at the link to that mod and you want to find the app id and you want to find once you click on the mod you want to look up the ID of the mod. So back here, the app ID 270880, we want to remember that because that is our American Truck Simulator app ID. Now, once we click on our mod, the link will change to an, another ID number, and that is the ID to the mod. So for example, the serial black number is 232845 is our mod number. So once we know that, we want to go over to our Steam folder. Now my Steam folder just happens to be on one of my E drives as the root. Yours will probably be in your programs file folder or something like that on your C drive. Just depends where you installed Steam. Mine is here. Yours necessarily won't be in this spot. But anyway, look up your Steam folder, Steam apps, workshop, content, and here is our game. ID. So we need a 270880 for Truck Simulator. And now we have all these numbered folders. These are your mods in your workshop that you subscribe to or unsubscribe to because it'll be an empty folder if you unsubscribe to it. So we're going to need uh, 232845 So 232 Eight four five six nine one seven. So keep that in mind. If you're taking this to adjust it, do your own thing, and re-put it on Workshop, get the original mod creator's approval for anything you put back on the Workshop. So this is just for our own use. So in this case, this zip file here is the actual mod that we need, and this is the one that we need to edit to get our truck folders into. So. Uh, follow my previous video on what we do with those folder names of how to get your truck noises or uh, trucks included with that sound mod. But for example, for this one, we just want to copy that zip file. And now we're going to go into your documents folder and look up your American Truck Simulator mod folder and drop that zip file in. Now, what I highly suggest once you get that zip file in there, all right, where did mine go? <laughs> this is why you want to name it. So you want to rename that to something that makes sense. Oh, not delete it. Uh, we want to rename that to something that makes sense to you. Uh, we're going to rename it Serial Black uh, 3406E. So now that's in there then what you want to do is unsubscribe to it 
in the workshop so that it, you don't have two of them and you have conflicts and whatever else. So unsubscribe to it once you move that over and name it in your mod folder. Now you can launch American Truck Simulator. Go to your mod manager and look what we have here, Serial Black. Activate your mod. Firm changes. Now let's build a truck with that new engine. So we'll go to truck dealers. Uh, let's do a Peterbilt. Buy online. And we're going to do just a stock truck because I don't want to mess with a modded truck in case we got a problem with uh, that. So let's stick. So let's pick uh, this stock Peterbilt truck. Customize it. Engines and sort by mods. We should have one. There it is. Serial Black. See how it's named exactly how we named that mod in our folder. And there we are. There is all of our Serial Black engines, but it's no longer in the workshop uh, folder. It is on our mod folder local to our drive. So whatever changes we make to this mod will stay. It won't disappear with an update. Um, so yeah, there is advantages and disadvantages doing this. Basically the advantage is if you need to make any changes to that sound mod and you don't want it to revert back to its original state, you'll need to move it to this folder and unsubscribe to it. Again, please don't change mods and re-upload them to workshop without getting permission from the original author of that mod. I don't want to cause you to have any grief or them to have any grief over doing things like that. This is just for your own personal use. So thanks for watching. And I hope this helps you get some of the trucks that you like to drive into the engine sound mods that you like to listen to. Have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.